but 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 we have a different way so first of all let's search for black magic design on google of course and once you have searched for that you will find the first link if not you can directly go to www.blackmagicdesign.com or i'll put the link in description now you have to go to the support tab of this website and you will find a product family you have to click on the venture resolve and fusion software now down below you will find latest downloads where you can find the Vinci Resolve project server 18.0.1 which is the latest one. So you can also get down other updates or early downloads which you can get if your version of Resolve is older one. So I'll click on Windows since I have that one you can even get for Mac. The next thing is you have to fill the details however I'll skip this part and you'll find this. Uh, a file will be automatically downloaded if not you can also click on this the Vinci Resolve project server 18.0.1 zip file it will be automatically downloaded once done you have to go to the download section of your file explorer and extract the zip files and once it is unzipped you have to click on this application or set of file it will extract its own set of file and once done something like this will appear this is the installer of project server and now click on install the PostgreSQL will be automatically downloaded now however it will take too much time a lot like nearly five to six minutes in my case however it may take more or even less in your case so I'll just fast forward this part then you have to click on next and after that it will ask a destination folder you can even change if you want and click on install it will again install in a few seconds or a minute now click on finish once done your installation is completed and you have to open the Vinci Resolve project server app or icon you can go to the start menu or you can directly use the shortcut once you have opened that you will see something like this however first it will ask for your server name which I forgot to record now you it will ask the admin name now you have to set a password so that you can access your server now you have to create your first project library or your first database you have to put the name for your database like for now i'll just put my projects and click on create a project library or a database will be automatically created here so you can see this uh, interface will be visible you can adjust settings however you will have to enable your project library you can see project library enabled just toggle that button click on authorize and it will be automatically enabled so that you can share your project or database now you can even do that from your davinci resolves app just go to the network section and click on add project library you can even connect to one of the library if your teammate has given you the access or you can even create your own so for now i'll put the name as project 000 and all other details will be same and just cl click on create however if you want to give or share it to another teammate of you and you don't know your credentials like your uh, username and password you can just go to your database and right click and you will see export access key something like that it will ask you a save option or a save location and just click on save so to show this that how i can connect to it i'll just disconnect the project uh, database right now and then what you have to do is just double click your access key which your teammate has shared or you have shared to someone so you can see you, you have automatically connected to the database without worrying about any password or username so this is the most easiest or fastest way to get your project accessed or connected so i hope you found the video helpful and something new if so do hit the like button share and subscribe until then we'll meet in the next video thanks for watching bye